Okay, this story is so funny, okay? I was like 20 or 19. So I remember back then, um, my sister never really let me go out. So when I, you know, started going out, when she started letting me, I went literally every Saturday, I would go to the club. Every single Saturday, like religiously, I never, ever, ever missed it. Then um, it was, um, ¿Cómo se llama Easter? That good, good week or whatever? Semana Santa. Semana Santa, okay. And then it was, um, what comes day after Good Friday? Good Saturday? Sábado de Gloria. Glorious Saturday, okay. So I was going to have a glorious time. So I had out my homegirls and I was like, hey girl, let's go clubbing. And then all of them bitches were like, no, I can't. Nah, me, 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 me. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll go by myself. So I got pretty and I got ready and everything and I was like about to have a good time. I drive and I go to the club and I start dancing and I start popping in my pussy lap and down like this. And I was feeling myself and then as I'm dancing, you know, like this, I, I feel a grab on my ass like, oh! and I was just like, ah, I was like, ooh, I turned around. Nobody was there, so I was like, okay, whatever. Keep dancing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Second time. Oh, and I was like, ah, oh. again. I was like, ooh, girl, who's grabbing my butt? I turned around. Nobody. Okay, so I was like, okay, cool, whatever. I kept dancing. Then the third time, that one, I just, I felt the grab like in my soul, you guys. Like it was so like, mm, I just went like, eh. and then I was just like, ah, oh. ooh. It felt so like, ooh, girl. Anyway, so I turn around like this, and I see some guy, and he just pulls me in. I was like, ah! And then I just started dancing with him, right? So we're dancing, I was like this. I put my hands like on his shoulders. I was like, I'm dancing. He was like super cute, like tall, um, you know, black hair, light skin, and he was just like super cute, thick, like, oh my God, he was just so handsome. And I was just there like, you know, you know, like dancing and stuff. And he started talking to me, he's like, oh, you know, like, how old are you? And I was like, <laughs> and then um, he was like, so why, you're bottom or you're top? And I was like, whatever you want me to be, baby. I'm just kidding. And then I was just like, well, whatever, you know. Mind you, back then I was still a virgin, okay? Like, I had ne I never had a boyfriend, never kissed nobody, nothing. And I didn't even, like, hold held hands with any guy. So I was just, like, you know, all freaked out. So I was like, oh, man, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I was just dancing, whatever. And then he starts kissing my neck. And obviously, I've never had nobody kiss my neck before. So I was just like this. Like, as he was kissing me, I was like this. Oh. I was like, yes, mama, kiss me. Make me feel like a woman. Anyway, so as he's kissing me, well, whatever. I felt super romantic at a club. Okay, whatever. Anyways. Then, um, his friend, like, comes in back of me. He starts, like, you know, like, dancing, you know? And I was like, oh, my God. What is this? Sandwich time. Anyways, then um, he like close. Re he comes really close to my ear and he whispers, "I'm black and I have a big dick. You wanna feel it?" And then he grabs my hand, puts it down there, and I just I was just like, <gasps> "That shit was too big." And then I was like, "Oh, girl, no, ma'am, not today. I don't wanna live here in a wheelchair, hunty." So. I was just like, ha, ah, whatever. <laughs> and then I kept dancing with the guy, right? And then he like kisses me in the neck. And then I was like, oh girl, what is this? And then his friend grabs his phone and takes a picture of my neck and he goes, look, you have hickers. <laughs> and then when I looked at that, I was, I seriously grabbed the phone and I was like, oh my God, what is this? And then I like literally ran to the restroom so far, I was like, which is like move bitch and then I go to the restroom I looked in the mirror and there you go big ass hickey right here and another one back here I was like oh my god I'm such a slut I literally like just ran out of the club jumped into my car and I just booked it right so I was driving I called my best friend I was like oh my god I'm a whore Hickeys, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And she's like, girl, it's fine. Just put some like quarter in there or a cuchara fria or whatever or like glue stick and rub it or 
some stuff like that, right? So I hang up and I'm just like driving to my house. I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? <gasps> oh my God, oh my God. And then so I went to sleep crying. <laughs> so I cried myself to sleep, right? The next morning, it was Sunday morning, um, I go down the stairs and I was like, then I was fixing myself a cup of coffee and I was making myself some breakfast. And then my sister goes, she turns around and she goes, Carlos, y esos hickeys. And then I was like, what hickeys? I don't have nothing. <laughs> and then she was like, oh my God, you need to be careful with those men. And I was like, it wasn't men. It was a young guy. Okay, leave me alone. So there you go. That's a time that I almost got taken advantage of and I almost lost my virginity. And all because my friends wanted to be good Catholic chicks and didn't want to go out on Semana Santa, pero yo, de puta, I wanted to party and I almost got, you know, sandwiched by two handsome guys. <laughs> all right. So, okay, that's it for this video. Um, comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, give me some suggestions of what you want to see next. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Bye.